Christmas at Sandringham, Meghan, Fergie, Kate, and Camilla, will they get on? Meghan Markle will meet a whole host of new royal faces, when she spends Christmas at Sandringham this year, but how will she get on with the likes of Kate, Fergie, and Camilla? Kate and Meghan will formally become in-laws, when the former suit star marries Prince Harry on May 19 next year at St. George's Chapel in Windsor Castle. When asked about the engagement, the Duchess said, William and I are absolutely thrilled. It's such exciting news. It's a really happy time for any couple and we wish them all the best, and hope they enjoy this happy moment. But it is rumored the pair could become more than sisters-in-law, and form a true bond of friendship as they spend Christmas together at Sandringham next week. Grant Harold, etiquette expert and former butler to Prince Charles and Camilla, said Meghan's wonderful sister-in-law will be on board to give her all the advice she needs, as she learns how to be a member of the royal family. The women met back in January, with Meghan Markle saying the Duchess of Cambridge had been wonderful in welcoming her into the family. Mr. Harold added, Kate looks the part, and I think if Meghan needs advice I think she'll be going to someone like the Duchess of Cambridge who will be give her that advice that she needs. Fergie, too, could become a close friend of Meghan taking the fiancé of her best friend's son under her wing. It is thought Cot and Meghan could become the next Princess Diana and Sarah Ferguson, the Duchess of York, who became close friends, and were frequently seen attending royal engagements and holding together. The former sisters-in-law, whose marriages to the Queen's sons both ended in divorce, famously fell out shortly before Diana's tragic death in 1997. But in an interview in 2007, Fergie said, I really miss Diana. I loved her so much. Diana was one of the quickest wits I knew, nobody made me laugh like her. Camilla could also be a good ally for Meghan, with the Duchess of Cornwall declaring what was America's loss is our gain following the engagement announcement last month. She said, it's brilliant and as I said, America's loss is our gain. We are all absolutely delighted. As you can see, they are so happy. Sometimes, you know, in a climate where we are surrounded by a lot of bad news, it's a real joy to have a bit of good news for once. As I said before, we are delighted. Christmas will also be the first time Meghan will meet Anne, the Princess Royal, the Earl and Countess of Wessex and the Duke of York and his daughters, Princess Beatrice and Eugenie, who are all expected to attend. US-born Meghan revealed last month she has met the Queen a couple of times, and described her as an incredible woman. In her first interview with Prince Harry after their engagement was officially announced, Meghan described the proposal, as just an amazing surprise. Prince Harry popped the question at the couple's Nottingham Cottage home, in the grounds of Kensington Palace, as they were roasting a chicken for their dinner. She said, it was so sweet, and natural, and very romantic. He got on one knee. Harry added, she didn't even let me finish. She said, can I say yes? Can I say yes, and then there were hugs and I had the ring in my finger and I was like, can I can I give you the ring? She goes, oh yes the ring.